Hello there, scientists. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday like me. I've been having a great day. My students were excited about our learning and asked a lot of questions, just like true scientists. They remind me of our time together because they just love learning so much. And speaking of learning, do you remember what we're learning about this week? Oh, that's right. We're answering, answering questions from scientists that were specifically about plants. Thank you for having such a great memory. The question we'll be answering today is from a second grade scientist from Lafayette Elementary School. This scientist asked, why are some plants edible and some not? This is a really good question. I have been curious about this too. I eat the peas from my plant, but I wouldn't eat the leaves from the magnolia trees by my house. But why is that? We'll learn a bit about that together. But first, let's write down this question so we don't forget it. Why are some plants edible and some not? And we'll learn the word for not edible too. Okay, eso. I have the question written down and now I'm ready to share some of my learning. I wanted us to start by going back to what we learned in February. <sighs> Do you remember us learning about plant and animal defenses? Okay, great. So we can answer our question a bit with this. Why do living things have defenses? That's right. Plants and animals have defenses so that we, animals, can survive and stay alive. Some plants are inedible. That means that we cannot eat them because otherwise they wouldn't survive. Now, some plants do have poison, so we have to be really careful and not just munch on plants that we find. But some plants are inedible because our bodies cannot process them. On Monday, we learned that plants use their leaves to get energy from the, the sun, and with photosynthesis, they turn that energy into their food. Do we remember all of that? Awesome, so the food that they can make is called cellulose. Can you say that again, cellulose? You said that really well, great job. So cellulose is actually a food that our human stomachs cannot process. That means we can't break it down. When we eat these things, if they don't make us sick, they just go straight through our bodies, which isn't necessarily bad, but we're not getting any energy or vitamins from them. But many plants are edible and we eat different parts of them. Have you noticed that sometimes we eat leaves and sometimes we eat fruits or vegetables? Me too, and I have an idea. I have some Im images of different edible plants and I was thinking that we could organize them by what part we eat. How does that sound? Really, you're interested? Okay, well, let me show you what images we have and our categories. So I have lettuce, really little lettuce. Strawberries, Brussels sprouts, mandarins, grapes, cabbage, which is different from lettuce, spinach, a little apple, watermelon, and I found a picture of something that I've seen a lot of students eat, sour grass. Oh, and our categories are gonna be fruits and leaves. All right, so now we're gonna go through the images and we're going to determine whether we eat the leaves from that plant when we're eating that food item, or if we're eating the fruit from the plant. Let's start with spinach. I think this will be easier. So spinach, is that a fruit or leaves? I think they're leaves as well. Let's try apple. Do you think the apple is a fruit? or the leaf of a plant. Mm, I also think it's the fruit of a plant. Let's do cabbage. 
Do you think cabbage is the fruit from a plant or its leaves? I agree. I think it's leaves. Mm, grapes. What do you think? Oh, no. Fruit. <laughs> or are we eating the leaves? We're definitely eating the fruits. Even in the picture, you could see the leaves, and I've never eaten grape leaves. Actually, I have with dulce. Next, we have mandarins. Do we eat the fruit of the plant or the leaf? What was that? Ah, yes, the fruit. Let's see. How about sour grass? When we eat sour grass, are we eating the fruits from the sour grass or the leaves? The leaves. I heard they make a nice topping for some snacks. Let's try strawberries. Are, when we eat strawberries, are we eating the fruit or the leaves? Mm-hmm, the fruit. How about lettuce, which is not cabbage? When we eat lettuce, are we eating the fruits of the lettuce or the leaves? The leaves. I'll leave that there. And watermelon. Do we eat the fruit or are we eating the leaf? The fruit. I don't even know what watermelon leaves look like. And Brussels sprouts. Are Brussels sprouts fruits or leaves? Leaves, and there's a clue in the name, they're sprouts. And sprouts are when we see the stems and leaves. Awesome. Wow, scientists, I think we've sorted out all of our edible plants. Now, let's wrap today up. Some plants are edible and some are not. If plants are inedible, that means we can't eat them, it's because they have a defense. They're either poisonous or not healthy for us. So it's important that we don't just eat all the plants that we see. But we can eat sourgrass, and that's a plant that is commonly found in the San Francisco Bay Area. Sourgrass has three-leaf clovers, and in the spring blooms yellow flowers. Just make sure that you wash them before you eat them, and ask an adult. Well, Cientificos, our time is up. I hope you learned something new about edible and inedible plants. I learned that we don't always eat all parts of plants. Please enjoy the rest of the show, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.